What is up guys, my name is Hafo and uh, today I'm going to do a Modern Warfare 2 colour correction tutorial. Um, the last one I did went down really really well and that was a few months ago. So I thought I would do, you know, a new one because you, you can never have too many uh, colour corrections and uh, the one we're going to be doing as I said is a Modern Warfare 2 one. I think it looks pretty good on trick shot in videos. Um, it's slightly darker um, and on and yeah, it just brings out the colours, I think, in the map, like the sky. I'll just show you what it would look like without the colour correction first. So there it is without, and there it is with the colour correction. And uh, all the things in the colour correction you can obviously change. It's a magic bullet looks colour correction. Um, I know some of you don't have magic bullet looks. Um, but if you do, uh, it's great, and you can use it on Sony Vegas as well. So uh, yeah, let's get started. We're just going to go into our... Um, Magic bullet looks. I'm just gonna edit the look. Um, and if you want, I'll, I'll just read out what the settings are. If you would like, if you want that, yeah. You can add blur to the edges, but I've had in the past when I've done that, lots of people don't actually like it. Um, I'm not quite sure why. I think it's quite nice, but you know, that's fine. It's up to you. If you want to add some blur, you can go ahead. Okay, so uh, you're gonna want to add um a three-way color corrector. Um, you can get that on subject, I think. Yeah. And the shadow put to 0 0.300, 0 .00. the mid-tone goes to 0 0.200, highlight 0 0.150, strength 100, and I think they might actually already be this, the default settings, I'm not sure. But for the shadow colour, R is going to be 0 0.771, G is going to be 0 0.739, and B is going to be 1.490. Okay, so mid-tone colour, R is going to be 1.038, G is going to be 0 0.982, and B is going to be 0 0.979. And uh, then our highlight colour is going to be R uh, is 1.075, G is going to be 1.060, and B is going to be 0 0.864. Now, I mean, there's still more I'm going to show you, but more numbers I might have to read out. But if you want to just download it, I'll put the link in the description. Um, and if you want to have a look at the other colour correction that I made for Modern Warfare 2, you might prefer that one, I don't know. Um, I'll link that on the screen as well, so... Uh, okay. Uh, the vignette, you just want to... Um, you just want to kind of... That's up to you, really. You can either have it dark, or like so, or you can... You know, bring it in a bit more. It, the vignette's really up to you. I think that looks quite nice now. Um, depending on how dark the map is, then uh, you might want to edit it a bit. If it's a really dark map, you might want too much vignette. So yeah. Now curves is, in my opinion, entirely down to what map you're using. Um, but I would just turn um, the RGB up and um, like bring the. Um, as you can see, like the curve, like the usual curve is bring the high, the brightness bit up, and on that side, and to the other side, bring that down. That's how you usually do it, anyway. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. I think it's quite a nice color correction, as you can see. It looks pretty nice on like most places in the map. Some places it's a bit dark, but I mean, um, you know, it's. I know lots of you like color corrections. And, uh, yeah, you can never have too many, I think. So if you want to see some more colour corrections or, you know, just general tutorials, I'm going to start doing loads more this summer because I've got time. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Um, oh, yeah. I've been messing around on the Buju for the Cinema 4D tutorial, which I'm going to do where, you know, you have the um, 3D text on the map. And I think that's really... Those people really want to see that, and uh, I'm having a few issues at the moment, but I'm going to have another mess around later today, see if I can sort that out, and when I sort it, I promise there will be a tutorial, and uh, yeah, that's all there is to it again. So, if you enjoyed this, could you leave a like, please, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.